As in life, in access, good relationships are important. As you are building tables, put them on the relationships diagram. Resize field lists so everything shows. Arrange tables so the one table is on the left and the many table is on the right. That way the diagram flows as data must be created. I have two tables, one with contact information such as names and one with phone numbers for contacts. The primary key in the contacts table is called CID. In the phones table, CID is a foreign key. If data is good, a value for CID cannot be in the phones table unless it is first in the contacts table. Do all the CIDs in phones exist in contacts? If so, then there is referential integrity which can be enforced as long as the data types of the key fields are the same. Auto number is not a data type. The data type of auto number is long integer. It is called auto number since the values are created automatically and they are numbers. Data type for numbers is defined by field size. Tables must be closed to define relationships with referential integrity. To create a relationship in Access, click on the primary key in the main table, drag to the foreign key in the related table, and let go. In the dialog box that pops up, check Enforce Referential Integrity. Because there is bad data, a relationship with referential integrity cannot be created. Phones has 99 in one of the records for CID. Contacts does not have a record with CID equals 99. Bad data must be fixed before RI can be enforced. Since there are no forms defined, open the phones table directly to edit the data. Right click the record selector box and choose delete record from the shortcut menu. The bad data is gone. The rest of the values for CID match a record in the contacts table. Go back to the relationships diagram. Drag a relationship on CID from contacts to phones. Referential integrity can be enforced because the CIDs in the phones table match CIDs in the contacts table. With this relationship in place, bad CIDs will not be allowed in the phones table. Define relationships and arrange the diagram as you build your tables. Enforce referential integrity unless you have a specific reason not to. For more information on creating relationships, see my blog article called Creating Primary Keys and Foreign Keys in Microsoft Access on www.msofficeuser.com. Have fun with Access. See you next time.